Hello everyone! So our lesson for today is all about fractions. Okay, all about similar fractions. And our objective is to add and subtract simple fractions. Okay, first, what is fraction? Fraction, it represents a part of a whole. Okay, we have the circle. This part is one-fourth. Okay, it is a part of a whole. So, meron tayong parts ng fraction. Okay, for example, one over four or one-fourth. One is numerator. Four is denominator. Okay, in fraction, we always remember that we have similar fractions. When we say similar fractions, same denominators o magkapareho ang denominators. Example, we have 1 8, 5 8, 3 8, 7 8. Okay, pare-pareho ang denominators. While, the similar fractions, different denominators. Okay, when we say different, magkaibang mga denominators. Let's say, for example, we have 2 fifth, 7 ninth, 3 8, 1 fourth. Okay, magkakaiba ang denominators. Again, similar fractions, same denominators, the similar fractions, different denominators. Okay, so next. So, dito sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-add ng similar fractions. Okay? Similar means, again, magkapareho ang denominators. Okay, so let's have an example. Number 1, 1 fourth plus 2 fourth equals... Okay, so ang first step na gagawin natin kapag similar fractions o pareho ang denominator, which is 4, i-add natin yung numerators. Add the numerators. Our numerator here is 1 and 2. So, 1 plus 2. And then, the next one, copy the denominator. So, ang denominator natin is 4. So, we just copy the common denominator, 4. Okay, so now we have 1 plus 2 equals 3 over 4 or 3 fourth. Okay, our answer is 3 fourth. Okay, example number 2. 2 8 plus 4 8. It is equal to, okay, so observe natin yung fractions. Same denominators. Okay? Similar fractions. Therefore, ang gagawin lang natin, i-add natin ang numerator at ikakapi ang denominator. So, now we have 2 plus 4 over 8. And then, i-add natin 2 plus 4 equals 6 over 8. Okay? 6 over 8 is not in simplest form. So, kailangan natin siyang isimplify. Okay, how to simplify 6 over 8? Kukunin natin yung greatest common factor ng 6 and 8. Okay, paano kunin ang greatest common factor ng 6 at saka 8? So, ang gagawin natin is to factor 6 and factor 8. Factor ng 6 is 2 times 3. Factor ng 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Okay? And then, pipiliin natin kung ano yung factor na magkapareho sila, which is 2. So, therefore, ang GCF natin ay 2. Ang greatest common factor natin ay 2. Okay? And then, yung 2 na yan, yung GCF, yun yung i-divide natin doon sa 6 over 8. Okay? So, 6 divided by 2 and 8 divided by 2. It is equal to, um, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Therefore, our final answer is 3 fourth. Okay, so add the following similar fractions, simplify if 
necessary. Okay, we have these exercises. Number one, seven fifteenth plus five fifteenth. It is equal to. Okay, again, similar fractions. Therefore, we just add their numerators. 7 plus 5 over 15. Copy the denominator. Therefore, we have 7 plus 5 is 12 over 15. Okay, 12 over 15 is not in simplest form. Okay, we need to find the lowest term or we need to simplify 12 over 15. To simplify... We're going to find their GCF. The GCF of 12 over 15 is 3. GCF means the greatest common factor. Pag pinactor mo yung 12, it is 3 times 4. Factor ng 15 is 3 times 5. So, ang common is 3. Okay, so next, 12 divided by 3 is 4. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, we have 4 fifth. Next, number 2. 2 over 25 plus 6 over 25. Again, observe the fractions. They are similar because magkapareho sila ng denominator. And then, we're going to add their numerator 2 plus 6, and then copy the denominator, 25. Then now we have 2 plus 6 equals 8 over 25. So the final answer is 8 over 25. Okay, ngayon naman, tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-subtract ng Similar fractions. Again, similar fractions, pareho ang denominator. Okay, so meron tayong example on how to subtract similar fractions. Number 1, 7 over 9 minus 2 over 9. Okay, so ang step na gagawin natin, dahil similar fractions yan o pareho ang denominator which is 9, Subtract the numerators. Okay? So, subtract lang natin yung numerator. We have now 7 minus 2. And then, the second step is to copy the denominator, which is 9. Okay? And then, 7 minus 2 equals 5 over 9. So, the final answer is 5 over 9. Okay, next, let's proceed. Number 2. 9 over 10 minus 3 over 10. Okay, again, similar fractions kasi pareho sila ng denominator. Pag pareho ng denominator, subtract lang ang numerator, 9 minus 3 and copy the denominator. So, 9 minus 3 equals 6 over 10. Okay, 6 over 10, meron silang... Greatest common factor. Okay, so ang gagawin natin is isi-simplify ang 6 over 10. To simplify 6 over 10, we find the greatest common factor. Okay, first, we're going to factor 6 and factor 10. The factor of 6 is 2 times 3. Factor of 10 is 2 times 5. And then, piliin natin kung ano yung uh, factor na common sa kanilang dalawa which is 2. So, therefore, ang greatest common factor o ang GCF is 2. So, yun yung i-divide natin doon sa 6 over 10. Divided by 2 over 2. Then, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Therefore, the final answer is 3 over 5. Okay, so let's have some exercises. Subtract the following similar fractions. Simplify if necessary. Number 1. 12 over 24 minus 4 over 24. Okay, pl uh, first observe the given fractions. Pareho sila ng denominator which is 24. Pag pareho ang denominator, 
gagawin lang natin, isusubtract ang numerator. So, we have 12 minus 4. And then, kopyahin lang yung denominator na 24. So, 12 minus 4 equals 8 over 24. So, pwede pang isimplify ang 8 over 24 dahil meron silang greatest common factor. Okay? So, we need to simplify or find its lowest term. Okay? To find the lowest term of 8 over 24, we're going to find the GCF. So, the GCF of 8 and 24 is 8. Okay? So, i-divide natin yung 8 sa 8 over 24. So, we have now 8 divided by 8 equals 1. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Therefore, our final answer is 1 over 3. Next, number 2. 8 over 11 minus 6 over 11. Again, observe the fractions. Similar fractions or sa pareho ang denominator. So, pag pareho ang denominator, so subtract lang natin ang numerator, 8 minus 6, and then copy the denominator, 11. So, 8 minus 6 is 2 over 11. The final answer is 2 over 11. Okay, so that's all for now. So, my next upload is all about how to add or subtract dissimilar fractions kapag hindi pareho ang denominators. Okay, so um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and click the bell on para ma-notify po kayo pag nag-upload po ako ng next video. Thank you! For watching, for more videos, please visit my YouTube channel, Matish, and then click playlist.